Here we are. Yeah, not the last day of the year, but pretty darn close, the 30th of December. So we got this, uh, this cool little uh, book from our granddaughter, Thea. It is uh, 75 trails you can hike in a day in Spokane, Coeur d'Alene and Sandpoint. So we thought we'd take you on a little trip and hike a few the of them. The goal actually is for us to hike all 75. Now, since there's only 52 weeks in a year, it'll probably take us a little over a year, but every weekend we hope to get do, do all of these uh, in order. And um, thanks, Thea, for the book and the, the card and the well wishes. But this time we're doing it together. He's not just doing it solo. And this way, Thea, you can follow along on these hikes, and as you get a little bit older, you can pick and choose maybe which ones you want to go on or which ones you want us to take you on. So, so with that, this book is uh, um, 75 trails you can hike in a day in Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, and Sandpoint, Sasquatch Books. So, uh, yeah, there it is. If, uh, look it up online if you want more details. Other than that... And we have our trusty companion along on this one. A lot of these trails are dog friendly, which is awesome because our little Lucy loves to go on walks. And um, this is hike number one, the downtown river walk. And it is 5.3 miles, takes about two and a half hours. The difficulty is rated two out of five. And the rating itself on the hike is a three. So, um, so, We're really excited to experience some of the hikes in, or all of the hikes in this book eventually and tell you all about them. So we're right down here at the trailhead, which is right at Clark Avenue in Riverside. So we're right down here by the Pe People's Park. And uh, I'll turn this around and we're about ready to cross the river and go up to the Centennial Trail and head towards uh, Riverfront Park. So we'll, uh, we'll check in a little bit later. Okay, see you soon. Beautiful stretch along the Spokane River. What a beautiful December morning. Nice view from the top. We've climbed about halfway up. We've got a nice gentle slope leading up the hill to the Centennial Trail. There's the bridge and the Spokane River. Lucy's having fun. I just kind of wanted to tell a little story about, you know, when Eric opened up this book and there was this wonderful card inside from our granddaughter as transcribed to by her mama about, um, you know, how much basically they uh, follow along with grandpa's uh, endeavors such as the John Muir Trail and now his, um, his wanting to uh, do the Pacific Crest Trail in 2020. Well, me, myself, long distance hiking does not appeal to me whatsoever. Being that far away from everything, it may be a fear, I don't know. But the one thing I do know is that hiking smaller, shorter trails that where at the end of the day I get to go home and sleep in my own bed and cook food on a stove that seemed more appealing to me but the bottom line was I really wanted to be able to experience what he experiences on a lesser scale of course but um, just to get out. I love to walk. I do a lot of walking in my job, but it isn't the same as getting out in nature and doing that. So, plus I really wanted us to do it together because I don't share that with him on his long distance ones. So anyway, I just felt like making this little video about, you know, what my inspiration was to, you know, set out on doing these 75 hikes around this area and Eric's always asking when he was on the John Muir Trail in his videos asking people what their inspiration was well my inspiration is my husband 
and what he's doing and what he's done. It's amazing. And not that I want to like be amazing or try to be like him. I just want to share some of that. So anyway, just a little short story about why I'm here. Okay, that's it. So here we are up at the intersection. So a gen nice gentle slope up the hill. Came to the intersection of the Centennial Trail. And then we've got, of course, downtown Spokane off in the distance. So anyway, we'll uh, check in a little bit later. Thanks. We're just heading into the Kendall Yards area. And right now, we're of course on the west side of downtown. And of course, right now I'm thinking how beautiful this would be just as the sun sets, you know, with the night lights and stuff. We talked about doing that but we wanted to experience the trail and how it felt to us in the daytime first. But I think it would be a really beautiful one to redo this trail down the road, maybe in the summertime when, when it stays a little lighter longer and then, you know, be able to be crossing into this area just as the lights come on downtown. And so you'd get that really pretty skylight. Well, we might have to do that again as it gets... Uh, we definitely will have to. Yes. So we might do this one twice. We'll see. But it's real pretty. And I wanted to also add that, you know, like I said, I like to walk and I take my dog for walks. But um, hike-wise, hike-wise, you know, if you're a beginner, this would be perfect because... There's just like one, the one hill that we, when we crossed the bridge, we went up, which I think is only 200 feet in elevation gain. And it's enough to get your heart pumping a little bit, but if you're a beginner, kind of endeavoring on getting into hiking, I think it's a really great place to start. I can see why they put that as number one in the book, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So. Great start. Yep. Up the hill, into Kendall Yards. Look at here, Thea, if you go on this hike, you can you can stop for some play areas. Have a great little time there. In a little park. While mom gets some coffee at the uh, Indaba Coffee Roasters. Cute little park. So we get to cross the Lincoln Street Bridge now by the Washington Water Power Building. Pretty view. Now we'll head up into uh, Riverfront Park. So we got the skate ribbon. And a 
lots of people down here today. Of course, it's just such a beautiful day. Oh, we might have to do the skate ribbon one of these days. So, passing by the carousel, so Thea, if you're down for one of these hikes, you can just stop and take a couple of dozen rides on the carousel, because I know one won't be enough. Okay, so we made it down to the Opera House, which is our turnaround point for the day. But literally, on a day like today especially, you could just roam around Riverfront as much as you want. Um, but I think we're going to uh, turn around here, cut back through the park, explore just a little bit more. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll share a few more videos. Sound good? Sounds good. looking day for our first day out here on our downtown stroll, huh? Let's go, Luz. Well, okay, we're back down at the trailhead, so... Thoughts about the trail, Val? Well, the one thing that I will say is I really enjoyed it very much, and like I said in the earlier piece, um, to see things from a different perspective when typically I see them from the car was really nice. What I did learn, though, is that I much prefer the uh, more nature settings, uh, since it was a combination um, trail. I much prefer the, the nature part of the trail versus the urban side of the trail, just because of the quiet and the sounds are so different. Um, but, but all in all, a great beginner trail. So very nice, easy walk. All of it's paved along the whole way. Both Lucy and Val, I mean, I think everyone had a great time. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll check in next time.